going to show you is that you use the bowl scraper, I'll just use my hand, straight edge, and you scrape it so it cleans it. Nobody has the last what is it? <laughs> the plastic bowl scraper. Not metal, it'll cut. Yeah. When you said you have a tire to rip your oven, can you like it 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 yeah, you can use the same oven, you guys. Just so start high and then you oh, yeah. end up lower. You see how she's spinning that? Oh, yeah. It's really dark. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And it has to be fun. She puts butter. What do you think? It's a lot of paper. 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 Yes. That was a good technique too. I just forget about it all the time. Yeah. This is just ingrained in my brain. I, I, I think so, my bread in order to come on. So <laughs> totally, you want to do that. Okay, so again, remember the technique of twisting the bag so that it creates more pressure here and nothing comes out the top. And we want to always use our guide hand is our non-dominant hand, thank you. So I'm just guiding, I'm not squeezing with that hand. I'm pushing from with the palm of my hand um, from my right hand. Now. When you are making eclairs, you're going to have a different technique than if you're making cream puffs. Now the key here is that we don't end up with Hershey Kisses, okay? So we don't want those little tails. If we get a little tail, there is a technique also. You just need a tiny bit of water, and then I'll show you how to get rid of those. So with the eclair, we're going to actually have it at a lower angle than if it was a cream puff. Mm. Cream puff's a little bit higher up, and a cream puff, we're going to just use the technique of pushing it out, stopping, and then turning it up like this. So we are not creating this motion like a rosette. You are keeping it in one place and letting it spread out on its own, stop the pressure, and then kind of twist it off, okay? That's as big as you're gonna to wanna to get for mini for the mini buffet, okay? So why, why, what makes this follow? Well, we have the area, we have a lot of eggs in there. So that's acting as a leavener. And it's going to raise it. Uh -huh. And it leaves that hollow. Yes. And then the drying out is going to dry out. Yeah. Then that can rise. But totally different. <laughs> okay. So for an eclair, so you saw I was up a little bit more. For an eclair, I'm going to go down further. And I'm still going to let the pressure create the width of the eclair. But I'm pulling it a little bit more away from or towards me. And I'm stopping the pressure and I'm going backwards. Okay? I'm not doing this. Do you see the difference? Okay. So then I don't have to fix it so much. I can still fix it, but that's a lot of work right there. So this I don't have to do anything to. The other thing I don't want you to do is just make a straight line. Because that's too skinny. And those are going to be like crunchy crackers. So we need a little bit of width to it. So to get the width, you either use a bigger tube, but I don't necessarily want it that thick, or you push slightly to increase the width of it and then pull it out at that same rate. This is what takes practice. Piping is not easy. So you might think, oh, I'm getting it really consistent, but I've been doing this a long time. Okay? So you need to practice. The beautiful thing about this is if you don't like what you just did, you scrape it up and you start over. Okay? So there is no waste. You can reuse that. Okay, and that's why I like using the silicone because it's easier to get off of than parchment paper. So again, you're going to leave a little bit of space in between these. You're going to be consistent and then you're going to go forward that way. So I like to do them at an angle too. Some people like to go this way. I just feel more comfortable with my arm moving at an angle more. Okay, and I think also you can get a couple more on there. Um, but that's the size that we're aiming for. So use this as a guide and on the next one, I'll, you can fill another bag also. I'll do a couple just so you have a guide. They don't really get like really big, right? That's about the size of it. These are going to puff up. Yes. They'll puff, but are they going to go wide? Or yeah. The length will be about the same. But do you see how I'm getting the width? Is I'm squeezing and moving at a slower pace and then they grow. After you do a couple, 